Hi, I'm Bulbasaur. And I'm Squirtle. And this is Pokemon... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sorry, Bulbasaur. I hadn't thought of a way to interrupt you yet and panicked. Well, it did its job, so it's not a big... <laughs> Okay, now I'm pissed. Now it's really done its job. Anyways, today on Pokemon Talk, we have a very special guest. This guest is one of the guardian deities of the Alola region, and the first one we were introduced to as well. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to the guardian of Mele Mele Island, Tapu Koko. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Thanks for having me here. Whoa, Tapu Koko, you look so different. Why are you black? Oh my god, Squirtle, you can't just ask people why they're black. Ha, <laughs> it's chill, guys. I'm shiny, hence the different coloring. You're shiny? But I thought you were shiny locked. Well, I'm a particularly special Tapu Koko. Oh, so you're hacked. Mystery gift. Gotcha. But now that we've got that cleared up, would you guys like to try some of my famous Tapu Koko? Oh, nice! that's hot. Not this again. Ha <laughs> that's so meta. Gross! You didn't like it? Oh no, it's delicious. See? Squirtle, put the cocoa away. Okay. Not him. My bad. So guys, since I'm here on your show as a guest, you'll want me to answer some questions for you, right? Yeah, that'd be great. So our first question is... How do I impress so many ladies all the time? Well, don't you fret, guys. I'll teach you my ways so every woman you meet will be instantly wooed. That's not what I was going to ask. Besides, I already have a girlfriend. Ooh, teach me! Teach me! I want to know how to turn people into wood. No, not wood. Wooed. That's what I said. Wood. Just because you have a different accent than me doesn't mean I'm wrong. Oh my god, Squirtle. You're not very smart, are you? Depends on the day. Sometimes I'm the dumbest one here, but others I'm smarter than any of you could even comprehend. But I don't see why that's relevant right now. Just tell me more about this wood transforming power you have. He's talking about impressing women and making them like you, Squirtle. Ooh, that's even better. I want to impress lots of hot dragon air girls. Excellent. So tell me, Squirtle, when you see a cute girl you want to talk to, what do you do normally? Yell at her and tell her I have a boyfriend. What? I mean, that's what they do, right? I mean, well, actually, yeah, I saw a chunk of them do do that. But just because they do doesn't mean you should. You should approach them and introduce yourself. Here, let's practice. Pretend Bulbasaur here is a cute girl. Oh, all right then. Hello, I'm Squirtle. I have a boyfriend. Told you. Huh, weird. It's always been easy for me. Well, here, let me try. Hi, I'm Tapu Koko. Oh, come on, guys, this is silly. How would you like to go on a flight around Mele Mele Island with me? I... Well, that, <laughs> that actually does sound pretty fun. Booyah! Oh, I see. The key to winning someone over is to utilize your social status, money, and power. Yeah. Wait, what? Personality plays no role whatsoever. Thanks, Tapu Koko. You're a genius. Wait, that's not what... Well, actually, now that you've pointed it out, that is how I tend to win people over. Man. Okay, so are we done now? Can we move on from this? Actually, Squirtle, you're right. Not that I should use my fame to win over women, but that I have been. That's not the way to do it. I should be showing who I really am. From now on, I will only be completely sincere when talking to people and show them who I am deep down. Oh, well, all right then. Whatever floats your marshmallows. I'll start right now. Hey there, my name's Tapu Koko. Why am I still the girl here? And I like anime. I have a boyfriend. 